وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ويا رب صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين آمين آمين يا رب العالمين الله الحمد لله يا رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استقيموا استووا واعتدلوا الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم قدير قالت الأعراب آمنا قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا ولما ولما يدخل الإيمان في قلوبكم وإن تطيعوا الله ورسوله لا يلدكم من أعمالكم شيئا إن الله غفور رحيم إنما المؤمنون الذين آمنوا بالله ورسوله ثم لم يرتابوا وجاهدوا وجاهدوا بأموالهم وأنفسهم في سبيل الله أولئك هم الصادقون الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر
الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يمنون عليك أن أسلموا قل لا تمنوا علي يا إسلامكم بل الله يمن عليكم بل الله يمن عليكم أن هداكم للإيمان كنتم صادقين إن الله يعلم غيب السماوات والأرض الله بصير بما تعملون الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I would like to translate the meaning of this khutbah by His Eminence Shaykh Ali Al-Abbasi, the Imam of Al-Aqsa Masjid in Jerusalem. Now, I don't want to hold you for long here under the sun, but let me summarize by saying that he started by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking His forgiveness and guidance, and then seeking Allah's refuge from the evil of ourselves and the wickedness of our deeds and he said whom our Allah guides will never go astray and whom he misguides will never be guided and uh, bearing witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah alone and that Muhammad is his messenger and he has delivered the message and has given the trust until he met his uh, Rabb the Lord Allah and he said uh, give peace and greetings upon the Prophet, peace be upon him. He said the best of speech is that of the word of Allah and the best of guidance is that of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. That everything that was invented in the religion is a bid'ah or innovation and every bid'ah is a misguidance and citing many ayahs asking Muslims and people to fear Allah who created us from one single soul and created from it its mate and from it sprang many men and women. And again, 
The same concept was repeated in many verses in the glorious Quran, asking people to fear Allah, to say the truth, so that they would be guided into the right path. And again, addressing the story of the beginning of Adam and Eve, where he created them and made them into nations and tribes so that they may know each other. And based on that, he said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, when reciting the first ayah in Surah Al-Hadid, the iron, سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ From Allah is glorified everything in the heavens and in the earth, and he has all the wisdom and power, and for him is the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, he gives life and gives death, and he has power over everything. He is the first and the last and the insider, and he has a knowledge of everything. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, was reciting this ayah, he said, O oh, the first, so there is nothing before you. O oh, the last, there is uh, nothing after you. O oh, the one, the upper, there is no one above you or insider. There is no one under you. And he said, you are the Lord of all the worlds. And that's why we say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. We say, praise be to Allah, the Lord of all the peoples and the worlds. And because of that, in the hadith, which is a true and authentic hadith, Allah was, and there was nothing before him. There was no creation, no pen, no template, no angels, no human beings, no jinn, nothing. And Allah was the beginning. He created everything. And he said, have they been created from nothing? Or were they the creators? Or they created the heavens and the earth? They have no certainty about what they say. So uh, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, was mentioning this, he was asking Allah with these words because they summarize the most important concept in Islam, which is the concept of Tawheed and oneness of Allah in the sense that we need to worship him alone and worship no one else. He created everything and everything glorifies him in his own and in their own way except everything in this creation obeys Allah's commandments except the human beings and the jinn because they have been given the choice and the freedom either to accept and obey or reject and do not obey. Students of Islamic International School showcase on eve of the IIS annual day event. Welcome you to the grand finale of the Islamic International School. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Performances par excellence. Recitations so mysterious. Man find means for momentary pleasure when I am with him and goes astray. <laughs> they are the enemy. So beware of them. This is the summary of our great expenses this month. And don't you forget who's the boss. Oh, yeah? yeah. Watch these cool kids impress and uplift your hearts, your minds, and your iman. With Allah's help, this will be a memorable event. Wiz Kids, every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. and repeat telecast at 10.30 a.m. Saudi Arabia on Peace TV. Analyze your mistakes. Have you ever tried to overcome your anger? Realize your weakness. Do you find it difficult to control your tongue? Diagnose your moral sickness. Have you ever felt that your intentions are corrupt? Learn the steps essential to nourish our souls in purification of the soul. Every Thursday at 6 p.m. and repeat telecast at 5.30 a.m. Saudi Arabia on Peace TV. The 
Prophet, peace be upon him, was mentioning this. He was asking Allah with these words because they summarize the most important concept in Islam, which is the concept of Tawheed and oneness of Allah in the sense that we need to worship him alone and worship no one else. He created everything and everything glorifies him in his own and in their own way, except everything in this creation obeys Allah's commandments except the human beings and the jinn because they have been given the choice and the freedom either to accept and obey or reject and do not obey. And of course, every Muslim knows this very famous ayah, I have not created the jinn and the human beings except to worship me. I do not need from them any provision and I do not want them to feed me because verily Allah is the one who give providence, give sustenance, and he is the one who has the power over everything. He has a matter with his own creation every day. So we need to know our God creator. We need to know his names and his attributes. Glory be to him. No one could give anything except by his own permission. O ye who believe, and the whole khutbah addresses the very important basics of expanding and teaching and conveying this message to the whole world. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O ye who believe, protect your own selves and your own families. Qu anfusakum wa ahlikum naran, a hellfire, wa quduha nas wal hijara, that is fueled by human beings and stones, which is a very terrible thing to be in, but one needs to protect himself and his family from this, and going beyond that into his own people, his own neighbors in the same village and his own city, and expanding into his own country and then to the whole world. And he is addressing the Muslims in India, saying, O oh Muslims, of India, Islam came first in the lands of the Arabs, but um, it expanded beyond that. And from that we found Salman who was a Persian, and Suhaib who was a Roman, and we found Bilal who was an Abyssinian from Africa. Um, it is, of course, uh, very good to see that those who reported and recorded the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, were non-Arabs such as Al-Imam Al-Bukhari, Al-Imam Muslim, Al-Imam Al-Tirmidhi from Tirmidh in Persia, and Al-Imam Abu Dawood who's from Sijistan, and many others who actually spread it all over the world. And uh, although there are some great rewards for praying in Mecca and in Medina, yet these Muslims did not stay in Mecca and Medina, but they went beyond that and there are so many untold and told stories about them when they um, spread uh, all over. They went uh, and crossed seas and oceans and very uh, great deserts in order to convey the message of Islam. And that's why we have now three quarters of the Muslims who are non-Arabs. And uh, this is important. And the story goes on to so many of the great companions of the Prophet, peace be upon them, may Allah's blessings be upon them. And you as Muslims are standing and sitting under the sun, you are seeking the reward. And he said, because of that, you want to get the meaning of what we are here today because of the invitation of the peace channel, the channel of peace, peace TV. Actually, the word peace is coming from at salam which is one of the names of our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to convey the same message. And he said, my message to you from Al-Quds, from Jerusalem, where we have Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, the farthest mosque that is blessed, is that we need to work to convey the message. And he prayed to Allah to free this captured masjid 
by his own uh, glory and power, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa was not captured except because we turned away our faces and our efforts from following the book of our uh, Rabb, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the guidance of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the companions were holding so much to it and they were given the victory. And beyond that, we are in fact conveyors and messengers to the whole world. As Allah says in the glorious Quran, you are the best ever of nations given or produced for mankind. You enjoin what is good and you forbid what is evil and you believe in Allah. So Umar said, if you want to be from the people whose this ayah is going to be part of their own life, is then you have to follow what it means. And he pointed out to a very, very important and significant point when he said, our situation will not change by bombings, by violence, by terrorism, just the ones that took place in Mumbai, in New York, in Tanzania, in Kenya, in London, in Khubar, Saudi Arabia, and many other places. This is not the way. In fact, this is against the way. But we have to strive, and we have to have good faith, and we have to have good deeds. That what makes us retain Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. That is where we need to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we can follow the footsteps of our Prophet, peace be upon him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Quds is a sister of Al-Masjid Al-Haram in Mecca. And that's why Allah combined the two in the same verse in the first ayah in Surah Al-Isra, where he says, glory be to the one who took his own slave on the night of journey from Al-Masjid Al-Haram, the sacred masjid in Mecca, to the farthest masjid, Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, in Jerusalem. And he said, my advice to you, O Muslims of India, and is to carry your own responsibility to be, in fact, great and good conveyors of this message so that this religion will expand more and more. Now, in the second khutbah, his eminence, Sheikh Al-Abbasi, again, was making dua, concentrating on the most important thing, which is to remember Allah, to seek his own forgiveness, to repent to him. And he said that Allah has asked you one matter that he started with himself with and seconded this with his own angels and thirdly by all humans and jinn where he says ya ayyuhalladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima so he said i am going to make taslim and prayer upon the prophet peace be upon him and he said he made a dua asking allah for mercy and kindness and to support the muslims everywhere in palestine and everywhere in the world and to guide people all to the straight path and he said we ask Allah from all the good that is now and in the future we ask him from the best of what his messenger Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him ask him from and to seek refuge from all the evils that our Prophet peace be upon him asked Allah to give him refuge from and at the end he prayed upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam by saying وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين